What is good? Welcome to another episode of Wrestling with Things. Subscribe to us on YouTube at Wrestling with Things. Don't forget to like us on YouTube. Subscribe, share it on, on your social media. It's helping your boys grow. Yo, Sammy, for weeks now, Kwame Brown, regarded as the biggest bust or one of the biggest busts in the NBA, has been tearing people new holes where they didn't know they had holes verbally, and has been speaking a lot of truth in my, my estimation. But Stephen A. Smith finally got the courage, finally stopped biting his tongue, finally rose above his media throne on ESPN, because let's be honest, he's the face of that company. Kwame Brown. Do you think this will finally silence Tommy Brown and I'll go back to Lynn? It's going to be a work. No, I don't know. I, I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's going to stop. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I ain't no instigator, but this has been entertaining. I, I hope he doesn't stop. <laughs> I don't I don't see him stopping anytime soon because like like Stephen A, like Stephen A said, his name has been in the news more now than it than it's ever been in, in, in his entire career or his college career or anything before that. You know what I mean? His name is literally buzzing everywhere. You know what I mean? There's so much people, you know, responding to him, giving him feedback, giving him, you know, the time. He's been on several different, you know, other shows, topics, you know what I mean, headlines. So I don't see him stopping any time soon, and nor should he. You know what I mean? Keep milking it. Yeah, do 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 exactly what you what you can do to make yourself your own little, you know what I mean, podcast or your own radio thing or, or keep going. And you know what I mean? Like and, and he's actually entertaining too. So don't he's a pretty funny dude. You know what I mean? He said a lot of truth. He, he, he didn't lie in, 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 for, for most of it. So he at the end of the day, he's not the worst case scenario player. And he, and he was right about that. That was the, that was the biggest point he was trying to make. But he was one of the first people to come out and not live up to expectations. So you got to swallow it, bro. You know what I mean? You can't be bitter. <laughs> you can't just be, be people personally just because they're saying you suck. You know what I mean? You know, you got you to gotta swallow it whole, you know? I didn't live up to the number one pick. That's cool. Yeah, I, I definitely think that's the case. If we're strictly talking basketball, you know, he didn't have a great career. He, he, he's probably not even a top 500 player ever. He he wasn't the, the best skill-wise for a number one pick. But, you know, I think his problem more so is the fact the length of time people have been talking about him. You think Kwame Brown doesn't know he sucked as a player mostly? Yeah, he knows. He knows I mostly got drafted and got attention because I was big and tall and went to the right school. He knows that. Not, I, I'm not trying to sound like I'm reading the man's mind, but if you really listen to his messages and the, the core of his, his rants, it's, it's the length of time, you know, 15, 20 years. I could swallow it for five. I can maybe swallow it for 10, but to keep making it me, my name comes up first, I think this is why he, he, he's been going this hard. And I partially can't blame him, but let's be honest, Stephen A. Smith finally clapped back. I think he was really a fear, a, afraid, excuse me. He was crapping his pants, but he finally worked up the courage. His team finally got him to, to speak up, I believe. And, you know, he had a lot of facts to say, too. I like how he had the receipts. He had the, the blooper reel. Yeah. You know, all of these uh, lowlights instead of any highlights. Dropping a lot of passes. I like that. He bought the receipts and he spoke facts. But you know what? I, I'm going to be off the best here. Even though I wanted to continue, I have a feeling that they're going to lay a little bit down. I have a question for the both of y'all. With that being said, not taking away from anything in you and Sammy. 
This man was number one, correct? Number one pick by Jordan. Yes, by the GOAT himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do y'all... I, my question I want to ask is, what do you two believe they expected him to be? A Shaquille O'Neal? Somewhat. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what they thought. Somewhat to that I level. They, I think they saw his size. They saw how he played against high schoolers. Yeah. And, and, oh, oh. and they were like, yo, we, we got to get this guy. He, he could be the next dominant force. I really oh, think they oh. thought that. Or at least like a a, a L M Brand level, or, or or maybe like a, a a Antoine Jameson level. Yeah. So something yeah, along those cool lines. You know what I mean? Like it, they were expecting. The point is that when you're number one, the whole world is going to expect you to be something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that that's why he has to. That's why it's been going on for so long. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, he was—he was literally one of the—he was one of the first. I can't really think of anybody before that who got picked that high and and was just really, really bad. You know what I mean? He was one of the first of his kind, so that's why it's been going on for so long. And he should have understood that. He should have known that. You don't gotta—you don't gotta talk about people not having their kids or people getting their wives took in or or, they, or things like that. You know, it's—he went too far. Uh, I don't know, man. He had he had to joke because they were taking their jokes too far. So he had to prove that, yo, if I want to do this, I- I'm with it. I-, I don't condone it. But for a man that was silent for so long and keeping silence by himself, I can't blame him. I really can't blame him for, for going a little low and going off for basketball. Because they're trying to make it seem like I... Right, you were bad, and he was bad at basketball. I, I really think he knows that. They're trying to make it seem like, oh, because it's the truth. You should be able to take it however way we give it to you. Now he's like, I right, let me tell the truth, and you should be able to take it forever. Derek Fisher was really in a entanglement with, with Matt Barnes and, and his woman. And I think he might have taken her. Yeah. I mean, let's... Why? Why can't? Why, why you get? Why do you get to get mad at that? But he can't get mad at at, at you bringing up his name because Matt Barnes was mad. Yeah, but he. he the, the reason why he was mad is because I don't remember Matt ever saying anything that that deep and personal about Kwame. Man, and what he, he was man. He, he he slapping, he slapping Steve, Stephen Jackson's leg when Gilbert was like, "Yo, he could have. He had the potential to be." One of the, the better uh, number one picks, but Jordan got the, the better. Yeah, but he was smiling and having the, insiders. That's, and, and, that's and basketball kept, related, right? Nah, that's, bas- that's basketball related. Isn't that uh, basketball related? It is, he, but it isn't. But, but he didn't say he didn't say nothing to the degree of Kwame. Kwame is talking about you know another another man being around his kids. That's like that's deep, deep. <laughs> like, like that, that's almost the deepest you can go. Man, it's public knowledge. Bro. It just is like, just like Charlamagne wanted to be slick, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give credit where it's due. He did apologize. At least, at least Charlamagne manned up and gave an apology for real. But like Charlamagne said, yo, it's public knowledge. Bro. It, it's all so, so he can talk. He's right. it ain't so. Uh, he he's right. He's not snitching. He's he, he's not tattletaling or anything like that. It's just like, man, you you really had to go there when he was just talking about the court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like to, like, to be <laughs> fair, Kwame talked about the court too. Matt Barnes wasn't the greatest of players. Not not great enough to talk smack on down on people. I I, I like Matt Barnes, great hustle player, good three and D role player, but he he's not good enough to talk down on people. He wasn't Lamar Odom or um, Manu No, you're right. That's true. He, he he definitely wasn't even close to all star level. But you know what I mean. At, but at least his. I'm just saying. At least his first shot was, was, was court related. This guy's first shot is about you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, another player taking his woman. Come on. You know. You know. Like yeah, that. 
if if that's if that's a new guy, they might fight him over that. They might want to fight him over that. Somebody who doesn't know better. He's he, he's he's lucky that Matt Barnes you know knows better, and he's not going to take it that serious. You know, because that that is a deep cut. Like that that's the deepest you can really go. Deeper than that is more, probably your mom or something like that. Yeah, 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 I definitely. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling You know, I don't know why he'll fall back. Now, I, I don't think so. I agree with you. He he started a YouTube channel already off of this, and I, I'm sure he could continue to build a brand for himself. But I feel like as far as directing it to Stephen A. and them, he's probably gonna start. But I think he he, he should disguise the limit. Keep, keep making a brand. Keep making something out of this. Yeah, I, I I think and I think he should do that. He should do that. Yo, honestly, I have a yo, he should make me his 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 head of creative because I have a vision for this man. He should take this further, man. He he should make this platform where he takes the biggest busts ever and keep bringing them to his, 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 his show. Like I'm talking, bring Greg Oden. Bring bring Anthony Bennett. I have them all tell their stories. Because right, they right. can have a platform. They can have a platform where we never heard from these low-level guys. And they're gonna get, get to talk their smack the whole time. I, I think people who listen, whether they want to admit it or not, I'm, get the biggest bust from sports and have them defend. I, he'll have something here, man. I, I want I want my credit for this if he does this. Nah, I, I'm for it. I'm watching every day if he does it. I, I'm, I, or every time he schedules it, I'm watching. I'm definitely, I'm definitely watching because I watched all these videos. These, these, these videos were, they will go. You know what I mean? Keep, keep going on. Keep, keep talking as much as you can talk. <laughs> Seriously, for real. It, 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 <laughs> And I and I didn't even think. And then when I first seen it, I didn't think it was gonna do anything. I didn't think it was gonna do any damage, but it it, it cut some people. My beef is, Simi and I had this discussion. David is, they are people who were scrubs in the NBA. They, they don't they don't get on them like that. It does seem like a situation. You know, David, I say this all the time. It's not what it is. It's what it looks like. It's America. You're just picking on him. Yeah. I think it's a lot of worse than that, if you ask me. This, 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 this a it's a a lot of people. And they slide right under the radar. Yeah. yeah. They got the sweet oh, piece. Ha- 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 Hashim Tabi? Hashim Yeah, Tabi. yeah. That's another one. <laughs> that's a great name. That's a great name to bring up. Hashim Tabi? Where is this nigga? At least Marvin Brown made it to the big three. Ronnie Flynn? Yeah, he lasted like yeah. maybe three oh, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I thought that dude was gonna be amazing. No, seriously. Darko, we, we <laughs> made that a couple weeks ago. Darko, 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 Darko. Yeah. come on. They slide, and they slide right into the radar. Like I said, Sam Bowie. Kill me. Nobody ever even thinks about them, man. But I, I feel Robbie like Robbie you know, back Robbie Robbie Robbie. Robbie. That dude does nothing. You're scrubbed. Yeah, he, you're right. He doesn't. He, he didn't deserve that that type of steam. But he was one of the first ones. Like I said, I've been thinking about this since I've been watching the playoffs, and I've been watching the Warriors actually. Jason Taylor, John Moran, Devin Booker. I don't know how many young guys that look like them. Who you take your from first? Tough, right? If I had to, if I had to do it in order now, right now, based on everything you've gathered up to now, right, right now, I gotta. You said three names, right? Is it I'm so- Devin Booker and Tatum. I might, I might have to give it to Ja right now, just because he's he's working the hardest. He's 
he, he's in Memphis. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a low end type of franchise. And he doesn't have as much names alongside of him. And he and he and he and, he, and, he, and, he, and he's still keeping his name in the playoff picture. Next, I would have to go Booker. And then last, I'm going to go Tatum. See, this is why I wanted to do this. I respect that. This is why I wanted to do this, guys. I had a feeling we were both going to have Tatum last. And I don't want to sound like I'm disrespecting him, but I, I kind of have slang I have Devin first. I think Devin's been a superstar for a couple years. We are just now noticing it because he finally got his playoff game on. You know, he's proven it. He's finally getting the taste. Yeah. I think Devin's been working with superstar himself. He, he dropped seven. It's yes. He didn't have the winning record to back it up. Yes. I really think, I really think now that he's proven that, yo, I could ball in the playoffs, I could ball against the playoffs, you know, like the playoffs. I, I, I could play alongside another star in this ball. I, I'm going to get Kevin on the ball as of now because I really think this dude, if, if it wasn't for a guy like Martin, he would have a strong case of the shooting guard in the NBA. He, he could get in and out. Drive him. He's a very good passer. He's an okay defender. You know, none of these three guys are elite defenders, but I think Devin's the only one. But I got to put the shot second because of what you said. Like, man, I didn't think the Grizzlies would be here. Man. Me neither. I, 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 I don't. And I, I would. I would love to take a survey of everybody, even in the, the state of Memphis, the city of Memphis. They probably didn't even think they were going to win here. So I don't think there was anybody that walked the club that would have voted the Grizzlies in the playoffs, let alone given it to Utah Jazz. So John Murray, man, he's just showing he could do a lot with a little bit. Yeah, for a guy who's only six three, for him to do this much with a little bit of help, that's a great sign. Because this great is sign. second year, man. That 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 is, you know, he's obviously not as small as him, but that shows me he has an edge like an Iverson. You know, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. He has that that big dog in him to to make up for that lack of size, man. And carry his team. I think we really get to the point man, where Jason Tatum is who he is. And I don't think that's a bad thing because I still think he's a, a high level all star. But I think, I don't, and I, you know how I feel about Melo. I have a feeling he'll follow a Melo path. You know, people will always respect him as one of the greatest scorers ever, solid rebounder, solid defender when he wants to, but he's not an all around force. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna give him a little bit of time though, because if you really look at it, this was his first year actually seeing some type of adversity. You know what I mean? Since he's gotten the league, Celtics were already pretty damn good. Yes, he just got to walk in and blend right in. It, it like, and then when they got Kyrie, it was the same thing. They had Kyrie. With with the with the real spotlight, and then he kind of got to just blend right in, right behind him, and 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 do his game. So this is the first year for him and Brown to do something, like make 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 let's make something happen. Let let's see how special things could go. So I'm gonna hold out one more year to see if he can actually handle that spotlight, handle that pressure. Of being at least a man or one of the men, and and then let's see if you can put that up on another notch in your game. Because I I don't know if you agree. This is like the first year where we we actually expected something. I agree that with him as the leader of the team. Yes, this is the, the first year. Ja, we we expected it right away. Booker. At the same time, right I, I'm strict. I'm strictly looking at skill sets and you know the eye test. You know the skill set and the eye test. He just looks like a very 
elite score, like a very high-level scorer. Is there another factor in Jason's game that you see is close to elite or a little bit above average? I don't know if there is one. I, I'm not writing him off as a star, but he does seem to me like he's just going to be that, that elite scorer. And there's nothing wrong with that because I still think that the league underrated the value of Melo's scoring all those years. But he doesn't seem like an elite facilitator, not an elite defender. No, I see. I see where you're going with. Seems to me, I don't want to say one dimensional, but that that looks like that's going to be his path. Whereas. Kevin Booker and, and John, they got multiple gears. They're a little more versatile. They they could imprint the game a little bit better in, in multiple ways. And I don't know, man. I, I, just, I think Jason's slightly overrated. I'm not going to say he's because I know how difficult it is to drop those buckets. I'm not going to be one of them. Yeah, bro. But the thing and not, but the thing is though, I him and Booker, it's really similar. It's 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 really really similar. It because, is. Kevin Booker is a way better facilitator and playmaker. He can, yeah, he can pass. He can pass a little better. And, 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 and but they're really really similar. But the thing is, what with Devin when going in, that's that's kind of the 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 advantage of going into a whack franchise because you can go in there and we can see how how great you are right away this dude he he this guy he had to go to the celtics and they already had some names so he, he kind of just got to blend in and now we're really getting to see it's now that we're really going to see how good jason tatum is now because because now we we're not worried about kemba like that, because we see Kemba hitting the cliff. It's, it's you and Brown. It's, it's just you and Brown. Allow me to play Devin's advocate for a moment. Kawhi Leonard kind of faced a similar situation. He did. He was, he was, he was, he was just blending in. He's going through it right now. And he got let go. No, you're right. He, he's getting the bet and embarrassing me because, you know, I picked the Clippers, but... Ultimately, he did get to blend in when he left, went to the Raptors, found success. You know what I'm saying? He showed that it could be that uh, uh, a two way elite player on another team in, in effect. The playoffs. Now, Jason's still young. I'm not saying that that's not a possibility. But I don't see Jason James ever coming. Like uh, a star, I, I just don't see it. Like I question if he's peaked in other categories. But, but, like I don't know, man. It just feels like it just feels like this is who he's going to be, man. I, I hope I, I hope I'm wrong, but I, I think he's a great. He scores, he gets buckets, but I'm waiting to feel like there's not a lot of games where I feel like. Oh, I, I I know what Jason Tatum's gonna do. Like I know he's not gonna let his team go down like this. I get that with John Moran. Yeah. I get that with John Moran. But but this is but like I said, this is he's he's finally now getting that opportunity. It's 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 finally now coming to these guys, Phoenix was shitty. You know, Memphis was shitty. So they got that opportunity as soon as they stepped through the door. To, to to change everything. You know what I mean? He's finally now getting the opportunity to change everything now with with with, with Brown going down in the injury, with Kemba heading towards not looking like the, the Hornet club, Kemba. He's finally getting that opportunity now. So I, I still think he can improve slightly defensively. Because, you know, we were saying the same type of things about guys like Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 and, and with that type of size and, and, and wingspan and length, you have no, there's no reason why you can't at least get a little better on the blocking end. You know what I mean? At least get, get a little better being a blocker. We know you're not going to be like a stealing type of guy and shut people down. 
but at least get be he can improve a little bit on the blocking and I think so. I don't think it's too late for that. You think he can average a block per game like Kevin Durant developed? I think so. Ooh, that's, 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 hot. that's hot. He's good. I mean, he's he's like 6'9". 6'9", 6'10". Like, so I, think, he, I think Kevin Durant has started at using his legs. I don't know if Casey Taylor has that IQ. And, and you want to know when that did happen? That happened when Kevin Durant actually left and went to Golden State. Yeah. So maybe maybe it might need Tatum to leave. I'll say this. Last, I feel like the last, I'll say like the last year or so, and OKC started turning around like defensively. But really took off defensively. In Golden State. Yeah. I don't know. Man. Boston fans aren't going to want to hear that. They, maybe they maybe it might. Life. Maybe he it might. Claim he was a suspect for life. I think that's what might have to happen. He might have to leave and go to another area to hit that other gear. That that that's possible too. But this, but honestly, the spotlight is on now. It's really on now. From here on do you, out. Do you think he's that? Do you think he's the best player on his own team? By the way? I feel like he's barely that. Yeah, I agree. He's been, he, he's barely that. He might he, he might be like a hair over brown. That's how that's I feel because the the people that brought up this year, I think that's going to go the floor. He might be, he might be like a, 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 I'll probably say like a fraction, but that, but the, but even that, that's okay because now, now we know, like we know who who the ball, who the team is really going to be down to. You know what I mean? This year, you you messed up, you let them get too low. If you do the same type of things next year, then now we, we're going to kind of look at you in a different type of tail. We're going to say, can you carry? This is, this is, this is the he biggest might, thing I want to know. He might be you, that yeah. you think if, so? If he does this another year? Yeah, I agree. I won't go there yet, though. I, 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 if I want to see what he does the next number, year. The numbers are comparable. They're, they're not oh, far from each other. Yeah, but Tatum has had the privilege to ball up more in the postseason. So we got to kind of give it to him. Well, He's had Close. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Tatum will be will be ball out for longer because he has the shot. That's fine. He, he, he has the- I, don't, I don't think I don't think his people will be better. I feel like Zion's people be high. I'm not sure about the people. Yeah, you're right. About, you're no, you're right about that. I, I'm not sure about who who will have the higher peak, but I do think he'll play higher basketball for longer because Zion's playing style. It, yeah. it's, it's not it's not known to be something that lasts for like 16, 17 years. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, Derrick Rose is calling in the playoffs. I'm proud of that, man. <laughs> he went from Nick Smith being better than that a couple uh, years back to balling it for the Knicks. <laughs> I got the Knicks winning that series too. I haven't won. I haven't so won that. I haven't won in that series in se- in seven games. I think it's gonna go seven. Yeah, they look, they look fairly close to the match. I think the Knicks are gonna win that. They really are, and, and and Randall hasn't even been looking like Randall. From the from the regular season, so once that turns around, I feel like that's when the Knicks will really show show that they're slightly better. And then they will what? they face the winner of the Nets. No, no, they're they facing face the winner Sixers. of my Sixers. Bucks. I think they're facing the Sixers. They face the Sixers. <laughs> but hey, they had a successful season. Yeah, <laughs> they upset the season. <laughs> No, uh, that'd be some stuff though, but it's not gonna happen. Nah, man, yeah. I was watching the Sixers very closely. Man. They Doc Rivers has to look way better than they've ever looked. 
Jo- Joel Embiid looks like a way more confident superstar. Tobias Harris, you we you always you always hang up on Ben Simmons for not giving the twenty. I think Tobias Harris makes it so they could afford not to get twenty from Ben Simmons because Tobias gives you the 30, 35 fairly often. He ain't gonna give it every night, but he could give you two, two games in a seven game series where he just goes for twenty plus, and he's been more consistent than ever. He always plays his best basketball in the numbers. I really think Philadelphia really is one of the biggest threat, man. They're the only team that I could look at and be like, you know what? I could see them in the Honestly, too, looking looking at their path, they had they honestly have yeah, they honestly have no excuse not to go to the finals. If you they get a rest a lot. Wizards, easy team. They're going to get swept. <laughs> Whoever's next, the good, they're good. They might get one. Whoever's next might get one game. I don't see Hawks or Knicks getting more than one game on the 76. So, exactly. So, honestly, they're going to be doing a lot of, a whole lot of wrestling because Brooklyn and, and, and Milwaukee have to see each other next round. Yeah, it's gonna be a that's gonna be a boxing match. They didn't pick up the scraps. That's gonna be that's gonna be a boxing match. So honestly, if they don't go to the finals, I'll be disappointed. I'll be really disappointed. But I still got Brooklyn, and I still think that when Ben Simmons meets up with the Brooklyn team, he's gonna have to bring that twenty out. He's going to have to. You got three guys who's going to give you 90-something points combined every single time. Every every single time. One of them, it probably James Martin. I do feel that. He can if make them work. Neutralize. No, he can make them work. If there's right. one person you could make struggle in the playoffs, it's him. He, <laughs> nah, he, 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 at least he proved, he proved he's the most stoppable out of the three. If you're I agree, Ben can Ben can make him work, but Ben at the end of the day, hard because of Harden being next to those dudes, he's still gonna somehow land with twenty to twenty five. Most likely, yeah. yeah. So Ben is going to have to put that up to help him on the scoring, end. I, and I and I feel like he he's gonna have to do it on a on a on a big three team like that. If it's Milwaukee, then he can get away with being that the, who he is right now, because you it's not it's not that necessary with that type of team. They're not gonna hunt you in the gut with scoring like Brooklyn. But if it if it's Brooklyn, he's gonna need that twenty. I need that twenty from. Him. I mean, I see why you say that. If he got that twenty, would it make their job easier? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I think if he gives you seventeen and Joel's giving you thirty plus and Tobias giving you his twenty-five plus, and you got all your shooters hitting their shots, Danny Green, Seth Curry, Jake Milton. Right. And you still got Dwight Howard and George Hill off the bench that can hit shots. That's enough for Milwaukee. I I think their I think their depth could make up for those points that you would expect them to get those points. They got depth on their side, and and, and, and and the Nets still have question marks in in close games if they could get some. I think in close games where you're gonna need to talk, I still think they can. They, they, they will score if it if it's like 100 to 100, they need stops. We haven't seen them win games like this. You gotta win it when it's all late in the playoffs sometimes. And I, I think Philly will be able to win games with their defense and offense a little bit better. I think it will be seven games here. I really do. I don't think that's going to seven games. I don't. I don't think it's going to seven games again. 
And B will give him problems with the seventh. Just might put them the seventh game. I don't think that neither. They just might. I don't. I don't. I, I really don't think that neither. The simple fact that they got they got the lens, they got the lens to, to, to keep up with them. Man. Styles make fights, you know, and, and I think Brooklyn style and Milwaukee style. I don't know if Brooklyn wants to run into a team with that style. Man. No, it's 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 kind of it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of the other way around. Though. They're gonna they're gonna give them, don't 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 get me wrong. Don't make them sweat a little bit because their best players are big players. That's that's what's gonna make them struggle a little bit. It's gonna take a whole lot to to give and beat a to give and beat a little bit of a problem because he's a seven foot skill guy and they don't got nobody like that. And then it's and then it's gonna be the same thing with Giannis, almost seven feet with skills. So I think they can grab a couple just be based off of those guys exploding. But at the end of the day, and it, when you got playoff basketball, you got Kyrie, you know, being as clutch as he can be, and then you got Harden, who doesn't even have to do much, but who but he's still gonna sizzle. You gotta you gotta have counters for that. You gotta you gotta have direct counters. And I don't see and I don't see it.